Sunrise at Lake Louise. Oh, it's going to be a tasty one today, guys. The alarm went off at 3.30 this morning. Two hour drive. And I'm in Lake Louise for sunrise. We've got about half an hour before the sun comes up, as you can see behind me. most amazing thing that's happened with uh, COVID, if you could say it was a positive about COVID, is uh, yes, international tourism is down, but that also means that there's less people around. And I want to show you Lake Louise right now. Let me turn you around. Now, normally, this whole area would be full of people. There's barely anybody here. So for instance, I'm right in front of the Lake Louise chateau there's one photographer there uh, actually sorry right there in the yellow jacket and then there's another group of photographers over here there's nobody here with me right now there's the canoe house uh, like i said we're about 15 20 minutes away from sunrise i want to show you my composition here so let me spin you around here so we're going big epic hero wide shot let me put you on live view here uh, so you can see what's going on. That's pretty much it. We're going wide. And then what I'll do later on is I'll come down low and use these rocks here as a foreground subject, um, a foreground anchor, and do that shot. And hopefully if we've got time when the sun is still um, creating some alpine glow, we'll get the boathouse. But the alpine glow should be hitting here pretty quick. Um, hang tight. Let me talk you through the shot. You see how this mountain over here comes down and this mountain here comes down. Let's create a nice leading line, dead center. That's the center focal point of my image. That's pretty much the, uh, the shot I'm going to do. I'll come a little higher, um, but that's it right there. The sun's going to rise behind us and ignite the, uh, the glacier up front here. So uh, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy shot. Rocking a tripod because I'm gonna have a little longer exposure. I'm not gonna do a polarizer today because I want the color in the lake and I want the reflection really nicely. The lake is dead calm. Um, if I do a test shot right now, I'm at half a second. It's pretty tasty. It's incredible to be here and have barely anybody here. I've got a couple of photographers over here, some tourists over here, and a couple of photographers over here as well. What an amazing experience. Just listen to that. It's dead calm, perfect reflection. Lake Louise, phenomenal. Okay, we're starting to get a little color now. The sun isn't up yet, but the clouds are starting to get a little pink hue. And just like that, we're starting to get some color in the, uh, in the clouds in the sky, getting a little pink hue happening. We're gonna rock one fourth of a second F8 ISOs 100. There's my camera. Uh, we'll focus, pop the shot. Pre-dawn at Lake Louise. 
So one thing that I wasn't expecting that's happening is we've got a little bit of a haze um, across the lake from the forest fires in BC and that's creating a nice little bit of atmosphere as well. It might be causing a little bit of colour happening as well. I have never been here when it's this quiet. It's amazing. A couple of hikers going by, maybe 30 people now in total. Amazing. The alpine glow is starting, the sun's starting to rise. The top of the mountain, just above the glacier there, is starting to light up. If I do a test shot on my camera, I'm 1 16th of, one -sixth of a second, F8, ISO is 100. Hmm, that's nice. Here comes the light. I'm just going to put you down here and let you watch sunrise. How's that for a million dollar view? It's popping off now like crazy. Um, let me show you the shot here that we've got going on. The light is phenomenal over Lake Louise. Look at this. So I moved over from where I was. I was right there, but now I'm sliding over here. Let me get this shot really quickly here for you. Let me dim this down. Uh, talk you through it here. We are at F8. Um, ISO's 100, one tenth of a second. Just the big epic hero shot. There's no movement in that water. It's really nice like glass. Um, again, using this mountain here and this mountain here, that's my center point of the frame. Let's just take the shot. Here we go, back up so you can see it. Got the remote on, there's the remote. Focused and pop it. amazing. Okay, let's spin the camera vertical. So we're going to turn the camera vertical. Just look at this epicness. Okay, so new composition. We're going vertical. We're going to stack it. We've got the rocks in the foreground. I'm talking fast because I don't want to miss out on any of this. So I am underexposing by about a half a stop just to get that extra color and punch. Basically, I'm exposing for the highlights of the shot. We did the hero shot. Sunrise is pretty much still on, but we're gonna move over to uh, shoot the canoe house now. Uh, it's kind of that iconic Lake Louis shot. You get the red canoes on the lake.
location number two is the boathouse and there it is right there. And I'm gonna to try to search for uh, a composition here. Something really cool just happened. I'm out of breath because these kayakers just got in the water and I ran quickly, set up a vertical shot. If I did get something that's pretty tasty, I'll show you right now, but uh, it was a pretty amazing experience. I think I got something tasty though. Uh, next shot, we're going straight up traditional rule of thirds. The canoes are gonna go in the left third of the frame. Uh, if you wanna know basics about the rule of thirds, click the link above. I just did a video about rule of thirds if you wanna know about it, but let's flip around and I'll show you the shot. So that's pretty much the rundown of the shot. If I put the canoes in the lower left third of the frame, pop that shot, that's just an epic nice shot. We'll probably do a bracketed shot, three exposures, one for the highlights, one for the shadows. Put them together in Photoshop and we'll get a great shot. And here we go with the shots. One, two, three. Perfectly calm morning on Lake Louise. Look at that reflection. <sighs> Amazing. not a bad way to spend a morning. 3.30 was a little early getting up this morning, but when you see that, it makes it all worth it. In the meantime and in between time, stay healthy, stay safe. I'll catch you next time. And as always, guys, hit the subscribe button and smash that like button. Don't forget to ring the bell for notification.